Hey, what's up, Flash Mob? Back again with another video, and today we're gonna to talk about setting your standards for your business. If it's your first time here, welcome. My channel is all about keeping it real and sharing my experiences as a full time cinematographer. We'll talk about gear, techniques, and my favorite, better business practices. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. On the intro. This video basically became a thing after a conversation I had with my brothers a little while back where we discussed the situation I had to deal with and how I decided to handle it based on my business structure. Your business standards are basically the processes and prices you put in place to run your business. These standards should be set up in such a way that benefits you. It should help you avoid all the little issues and it should help you get paid your worth as quickly as possible. As a business owner, one of the most powerful tools you have in your arsenal is having a really good client intake process that allows you to introduce them to your services. As your business grows and you get more and more clients reaching out to you for your services, you need to have a process set up that helps you keep track and manage everyone. A lot of times we get DMs on Instagram, maybe on Facebook Messenger, or by text message, or maybe they just see you in person and want to inquire about a project. For sure you can answer all of your questions wherever they ask it, but it's really not the most effective way. On my website, I created a contact form that every client must fill out, regardless of how they know me or what service they're looking for. This is important because it does a few things for me. It allows me to get the necessary information in terms of who the client is and what they want. It gives me a way to keep clients organized so that I can follow up with them later. And most importantly, it helps me pre-qualify the client to ensure that we would be a good fit for each other. If a client reaches out to me and doesn't want to take the time to fill out my contact form and feels the need to push back, that's a clear red flag that this is someone that I probably don't want to work with. Regardless of what client comes in, I need to be able to give them information on what services I offer and be able to quote them appropriately for the work that they need to get done. Also give them the ability to view the prices of your services and select what they want. What makes this really good, especially for you, is you can send out the information to a lot of people and duplicate the process over and over again with minimal effort. Having this process in play does three really important things for you. It gives clients the impression that you are very organized and professional. It removes you having to individually tell each client the prices or type it out in the different places like email or on social media or over the phone or anything like that. And it's just much easier to send the information out quickly. It also significantly reduces clients trying to negotiate your prices. Once it's presented in such a way that looks legit and professional, they either start deciding which option they want to go with or be honest with themselves and let you know that you're out of their budget, both of which helps you move forward. If you guys are wondering what service I'm using to structure my processes and business, it's called HoneyBook. It's an all-in-one client management application that helps you get a client from an inquiry all the way to a paid and satisfied client. I'm not sponsored by HoneyBook, however, I am able to provide you with a 50% discount off your first year using their platform. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you're interested in learning more, I have an entire playlist with about 12 videos you can watch. Do yourself a favor by signing up and getting your business on track. Now this is where things always seem to become a struggle for most creatives in this space. You want to get paid, but people don't always necessarily want to pay you on your terms. The industry standard in most cases is to accept 50% upfront and break down the remaining balance in a few ways. The two ways I like to break it down is 50% to book, then 30% on the production date, so whatever day we decide to shoot, then the remaining 20% when the edits are completed, or I do a 50% upfront to book, and then the remaining 50% on the production date. I take 50% upfront because I need the client to commit. If I'm reserving a time and date or creating a treatment or finding locations, talents, rentals, etc., I need my time, energy, and efforts to be compensated for. This deposit is also non-refundable unless, of course, I'm no longer able to do what's required. The 50% in most cases is what I use to pay my crew. And again, I'm asking other people to reserve a date to do what my client wants. So this just has to happen. Imagine having a crew of like six people and asking them all to reserve a date for your client. Then that client just decides they don't want to do it anymore on the day before because for whatever reason. That's now six people that could have booked something else. Yeah, not cool. 
get those deposits. The next portion of the payment is used to pay myself and the business. It's very important as an entrepreneur to fund both aspects. The money for you is what you use to pay your bills, buy your groceries, save, maybe pay your rent or mortgage, etc. The other portion of that pay needs to pay for your business. Listen to me carefully. You need to pay your business. These kind of payments go towards anything that you pay for that operates your business. This could be things like equipment, software, if you have a lease on your business space, your car, and things like that. As a business owner, people will not always agree on what you sell your services for, mainly because they don't understand, or let's be honest, they just don't care. This is why I tell entrepreneurs to set your prices based on you and your business's needs and stick to it. If your time, experience, equipment is worth 5,000, do not do it for 500. All this does is tell the client is that your worth is based on what they wanna pay you, and every referral that you get from that client is gonna be expected to pay $500. Quality over quantity, every time. One thing I overlooked in the beginning of my business was thanking a client for using my services. It seems kind of insignificant, but at the end of the day, we have to remember we are all people and gratitude is an emotion that people appreciate. You always want to leave a good impression on people when you complete a project because, well, you want them to call you back. And on top of that, you want them to tell their friends and family to choose you as well. So simply put, thank your clients for choosing you. The other thing you want to do is create questionnaires and get honest feedback from your clients. You definitely want to know what they liked, and I mean, you want to know the kind of things that you can improve on. I know it's hard sometimes to get criticized, but honestly, criticism is one of the best things you can do to reach a new level. So embrace it, learn from it, and just do better. Let's be honest, the better you are as a business, the more you can charge for your services. But I think I'm going to leave it there for this video. If this video helped you in any way, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to help support this channel. If you have any more suggestions or disagree with anything, leave it in the comments below so we can actually have something to talk about. Thanks for watching guys, and remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy guys.